Hey everybody, I am doing a review of the Leo Box Android TV box. This is the MXQ Pro Mini. Um, I have quite a few Leo Box brand items and the MXQ is my favorite because I find I don't get buffering and it has wonderful Wi-Fi signal and if you're lucky enough to connect it through Ethernet then it's absolutely flawless. So the newer versions of the Android boxes are all eventually, well, possibly could eventually end up with no Kodi on them. A lot of them are being safe and not installing Kodi preloaded, which is absolutely fine because it's incredibly simple to do yourself. So I'm going to show you what's here and then I'm going to show you a brief explanation of how to install Kodi yourself. Um, there's two methods of doing it. And basically, this is pretty much a plug and play model. You really don't have to do much. Um, the so you get the remote with this. I don't ever use the remotes that come with my Android boxes because I much prefer the handheld ones with the keyboard. And you can also use things like an Xbox remote, PlayStation remote, stuff like that. Here are your instructions. It's a very small little booklet. You get your HDMI cable. You get your power cable very teeny little cord because this is a very teeny little box. Here are your ports. You can plug in your ethernet, your power. <clears throat> you can plug in the HDMI. And then here you can put in your cards, you can put in your USB cables. And with my wireless mouse, I just stick the little dongle in here and then it's ready to use. This box is tiny, like absolutely tiny. I will show you how small. Here is a standard size coaster. Literally, same size. So I like the fact that it does everything a big box does, but it takes up much less room. So I'm gonna pause and then I'm gonna show you how to set up your Kodi. Okay, so when I plug in the box, here is the welcome screen. So I'm gonna obviously start with English, unless you wanted a different language. I'm going to hook up my Wi-Fi. Okay. So I'm going to go to the Play Store. And if you don't have an account, you can easily sign up for one. It is Android based. I have mostly Android products, so I've already got my account. I'm just going to log into it. And I'm going to pause so you don't see my information because it does not hide it. Okay, so I have signed in and it's just checking the information after I accepted the user agreement. Okay, so the Play Store has now opened. You go to these three little lines here. And I'm gonna go to Apps and Games because this doesn't already have Kodi on it. Okay, so Google Play. And then I'm going to type in Kodi. have the official Kodi right here. Make sure it has that symbol. And then I'm going to click install. I accept that Kodi needs access to these things on my device.
and it's just going to download. Hundred percent downloaded. So then it's going to install and then it'll all be all ready to use. Okay, so finished, then you can pretty much instantly go to open. And then since this is the first time it opens, it does take a little bit longer, but once it's opened for the first time, it doesn't take this long. Just give it a minute. And there you go. You basically instantly have your Kodi. Um, if you want to learn how to use Kodi, I would recommend going on some YouTube tutorials or looking it up online. You can put some pretty cool builds on here. Um, my favorite one is actually called Canadian Ice. And uh, all the information is on Facebook and online if you look it up. Um, the people who made Canadian Ice are actually very good at updating their app, and if anything is wrong, they constantly fix it. So, there you go. Um, there is one other way to install Kodi, and that's by actually going to the Kodi website and downloading it, and then it'll actually give you directions on how to load it on your Kodi box, and I believe somebody else already posted a review on how to do that. So, there you are, and I hope you enjoy your box.